Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to the D-Time Love Show. And today I've got a special video for you guys. I've got two Pantor watches that have come in. The Pantor Seahorse and the Pantor Turtle. Now those of you that don't know Pantor the brand, they are actually based in the USA but they come from humble beginnings from Hong Kong and it's someone living their dream producing professional dive watches. They may not have the massive marketing campaigns about them, but I have to say first impressions so far, having had looked, had a closer look at the Pantor uh, Sea Lion, I have to say I was very impressed with the specification and what was on offer for the value at that price point. But anyway guys, let's take a close look at both of these watches. Let's have a look at the packaging and the specs and let me give you my first impressions and what I'm planning to do over a six month period is to give you an update review to let you know how I got on with the watch. But before I do that, let's do a quick wristwatch check and yes, I am wearing the legendary, the icon, the affordable man's dive watch, the Seiko SKX007. Now don't get me wrong, you either love it or hate this watch. It does get a lot of criticism, okay, within the watch community. And that's mainly down to the fact it's so popular, people tend to hate products that are over popular. However, it does have its merits and good points. And yes, there are major criticisms of the Seiko SKX, but it is an icon and it is recognized wherever you go and is one of the main watch enthusiast favorites that you always tend to have in your collection as a beta watch. But anyway, let's take a closer look at the, the Pantor Seahorse. Now let's have a look at the packaging. Now, these Pantor watches come with lovely pouches. It's like a watch carry case. Let's open it up. I love the way they've engraved the Pantor logo on the watch case there. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. So the watch pouch comes with a two uh, storage units there, so you can carry two watches. It comes with its instruction manual, which is very nice indeed. Very basic, I have to say. And the warranty card, very basic stuff indeed. But let's take a closer look at the watch in hand. Let's get a closer look, bear with me guys. Give it a little shake. Let's just wipe that down, there's a few smudges there. And first impress impressions guys, this watch is a weapon. It is a beast of a watch. Now, aesthetically, it just looks and feels so strong. It's a weapon, it's an absolute weapon. Well, let's have a look at the case size first of all. And the case comes in at 45 millimeters in terms of diameter. It's a thick, thick watch, I have to say. It comes in at 16 millimeters in terms of thick, uh, thickness there, which is, which is fair enough. Uh, there's a nice brush finish on the case, very cool. This is a, the all steel version, and I'm a big, big fan of all the all steel version, I have to say. So solid indeed. Let's look at the dial, and as you can see there, this watch is 1,000 meters water resistant so it's a whopper that hence the solid build and the strong construction of this watch now this watch hosts the miyota movement the 9015 now those of you that know miyota movement company is owned by citizen and they do sort of make generic sort of like uh what do you call it movements for a number of watch organizations but the 9015 is the top end of what Miyota produce, and it got, it runs at 28,800 beats per hour like modern Rolexes today. So you've got a slightly smoother sweeping hand, very accurate indeed. I am very impressed with the, moves, the movement. 
Um, the case material is 316L stainless steel, solid, I have to say. It has got a sapphire crystal, very good indeed. I'll check out the loom. Um, I did test it when I first got, when the watch came in, and it was bright as hell, I have to say. Now, I believe the, the dials and hands and the looms on the indices are Swiss C3 um, Super Luminova loom which is very good indeed and the bracelet guys is absolutely solid it looks like what you get in escalators to be honest with you very solid indeed and you're looking at the case there you have an automatic helium escape valve which is a very very nice touch but i'm just feeling this watch i cannot express the quality the quality is there the construction is just so solid. It's got a nice bit of weight to it as well. Let's get it on the wrist. Let me just take off the Seiko SKX. Now, this Pantor watch makes the Seiko SKX feel very tinny, like a vintage piece. And it is quite tinny, but it's extremely robust, the Seiko SKX. But let's have a look at this bad boy. Let's just look at the bracelet. Oh, look at that. Look at the clasp, guys. That's really nice with the seahorse there. Oh, and the clasp. Oh, that, that is impressive. Look at that clasp. You don't really get that on the Seiko watches, those divers. But look at the diver's extension clasp. Oof, Pantor. Oh, that is a very, very nice touch by Pantor. I like that. You can adjust that. Oof. That is cool, guys. Very cool indeed. Now, let's have a look at the case back as well. And you can see there. Very nice engraved sea line there. What does it say? Sapphire crystal. 1,000 meters. Water resistant. This is a real bad boy dive watch, isn't it? I have to say. If you want a dive watch and you want to be the guy in the room that's got the highest spec dive watch... You cannot go wrong with the Pantor uh, Seahorse. This is a cool, cool beast of a watch. It comes in at 45 millimeters. Um, it does feel heavy. If you're not into heavy watches, this definitely won't be for you. But the bracelet is absolutely superb. As you can see, it's a screw down. It's not pins. It is screws on the bracelet. Solid and links. This bracelet is so, is so solid, guys. I have to say, I'm I'm really surprised how solid it is. I wasn't expecting the bracelet to be this good. The only thing is, the design of the bracelet may not appeal to everybody. It's got a bit of an escalator look. You know when you get on the escalators, that, that pattern of the metal? But it's very solid indeed. It's, it's no movement at all. It's like it's actually attached to the case. It feels so solid. With a helium escape valve, let's check out the bezel. Uh, from what I understand, it's a 120 click bezel. Let's check this bad boy out. And I'll tell you what, the, this actual bezel on the seahorse is slightly better than the bezel on the actual uh, sea, I think it was the sea lion, uh, the one that I reviewed previously, but uh, very good indeed. Let's just get that to match up. Brilliant stuff. Yeah, I like it, guys. I mean, it look, it's just a raw beast of a dive watch, isn't it, to be fair? Very impressive indeed. And uh, the price is the biggest selling point for me, guys. I just don't know any other watch on the marketplace today that you can get for $679 that hosts a 28,800-beat-per-hour movement. Helium escape valve, sapphire crystal, uh, C3 superluminova, helium escape valve, 316L stainless steel, the date calendar, the loom is great, solid and links, the engraving, everything, the diver's extension. At this price point, I just can't think of anything that can beat it spec wise at that price. So, what Pantor doesn't have is that recognizable brand name but i think that's going to come in good time because 
for you. Oh, and have a look at the screw down crown. At four o'clock, I like that, and it's engraved. Now, that is a really nice touch by Pantor. And what I was saying is, that comes in good time. You need a good product to market. And I believe that the Pantor dive watches that they're producing are very easy to market because it's a good piece of machinery. Um, they are based in the USA. However, the, the, the brand originated from Hong Kong, but they are now based in the USA and um, they are using some brilliant movements. It's going to appeal to a lot of the Japanese watch lovers out there, this watch as well. It's a very, very cool piece indeed, guys, I have to say. And uh, yeah, let's get it on the wrist. Probably big for me. I need to shape up the bracelet, but look at that. The helium escape valve. You know what? It doesn't wear too bad. It's, it doesn't feel that. You know, the bracelet on this really does wrap around my wrist very well indeed very cool guys very cool indeed i absolutely love it yes i tell you what i just love that signed crown and i love the bracelet it is good i i, I don't know if this will appeal to everybody it's like a sort of like mesh stroke oyster in combined into one type bracelet but it's solid no pins screw down pins which is good, solid and links, absolutely solid. As good as any Swiss bracelet I've seen around the couple of grand mark, I have to say. The clasp as well is solid. None of this press steel crap that you get in the cheap Seiko watch. Sorry to keep on referring back to the Seiko watches because I am a huge Seiko fan, guys. You know, there's, there's no dispute in that. I love Seiko, you know, I religiously love them. But um, there's certain, you know, every now and then, I think that's a stick, is that a sticker? Get that sticker off. Yeah, bit of a sticker there on the crown. Um, yeah, that's very cool. Look at that. Those little touches I like in watches. Very good. And the crown, the clasp. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Well done, Pantor. Very good. Good start. Good start. And I get a lot of these watches coming in, guys. And you know what? Half of them I do send back. I don't even bother reviewing them. Um, I turn them away. I get offered loads of watches to review that just don't really tick any of my own personal boxes. Okay? But Pantor are ticking a lot of my boxes at the moment because... I love watches that are well built, um, that have great spec. I do like them that have history and pedigree behind them. However, you have to start somewhere. And this new brand is going to shake up a lot of the, the Seiko watches and Citizen watches out there, even Orient. You know, I think this could be a real direct competitor of Orient watches, believe it or not, from what I'm seeing here. Very cool indeed. But they're definitely making the right moves. Let's have a look at the other... Um, Pantor watch. Bear with me, guys. Right then, let's take a closer look at the Pantor Sea Turtle. It comes in exactly the same box as all the other Pantor watches, this pouch travel case as such. But let's see what you get with the Sea Turtle. Right, let's open this bad boy up yet again. Oh, it comes with a few more goodies than what you get with the Seahorse. You get a leather strap and with an adjustment tool as well to change the strap. Very nice touch indeed. But most importantly, let's take a closer look at the watch in question. Very nice, very nice. Let's just get the smudges out. Bear with me, guys. Look at this watch. Very nice indeed. Another impressive watch from Pantor. And... Um, it's nowhere near as heavy as the actual uh, seahorse, but um, the sea turtle comes in at the same sort of size, guys. I believe 
let's just have a look at this here. I believe, yes, this is 45 millimeters. It's slightly thinner than the Pantor Seahorse at 15.2 millimeters. But look at the polishing on this. Very cool indeed. It's like a brushed on the side and they're giving it a high polish on the top surface of the case. Normally, watch manufacturers have a polished finish on the top of the case and on the side, like you get with your Rolex and Tudors, you got a high-end glossy finish on the side, but they've done it the other way around, which is uh, very, very interesting indeed. Now, let's have a look at the dial now, the Pantor Sea Lion dial. Um, sorry, the Sea Turtle, sorry. It's coming all this jet black black bezel um, it is 500 meters water resistant now this particular model comes with a seiko nh35 movement um, it doesn't beat at 28,800 beats per second it beats like your normal everyday seiko at 21,600 beats per hour uh, very good indeed reliable movement proven movement i have to say very nicely done and uh, look, let's have a look at the um actual rubber silicone strap very soft to the touch very nice very nice you've got the pantor engraved logo on the buckle there and um let's just have a look at the back of the case oh very pretty i just love the way they're doing this it's not look if you look at the seiko skx one it looks a lot cheaper a lot a bit more cheaper the way they've done it there with the karagawa wave that's just pressed metal as we're on the pantor they've actually engraved it basically they've chiseled it out as such i don't know if it's laser or hand done i'm sure it is machine done but it just looks a lot better i have to say the, the, the back case and uh you know which is very impressive indeed and it is a 500 meter water resistant spec very good 500 meters is more than enough i have to say you don't really even need more than 200 meters but if you want to be in the club of the 500 meter dive watch gang then this is definitely the watch for you um yes it's got that helium escape valve which is very nice it's a luxury that i've seen on all the pantor watches which is very nice indeed sapphire crystal very cool indeed um i believe the the lug width is 22 millimeters just as with the Pantor Seahorse. Yes, they are exactly the same. You do get the option of a leather strap with this watch as well. And they give you a tool to remove the strap, which is a very nice touch by Pantor. Very user friendly. Let's have a look at the crown. And you can see the sea turtle there. That is just a very nice touch from Pantor. I love the way they've done those engravings there. Let's check out the bezel to see how that operates. I believe it's a 120 click bezel. Let's check it out. Very nicely done. It doesn't feel as well executed as some of my Seiko watches. However, it is absolutely solid and there is absolute no giveaway or no movement on it at all. Um, the actual Pantor uh, bezel on the Sea Horse, I think, is slightly better. With all honesty, it just feels more solid for some reason. This one feels good though, easy to grip, very nice to grip, I have to say. I am extremely impressed with these watches, guys. I really am. They do, I just really, I just want to wear one. Let's just put, let's put the sea turtle on. Let's see how it looks on the wrist. Bear with me, guys. Wow, oh, look at that. Look at that. And I have to say, you know, um, from what I understand, uh, this watch has got the Swiss C3 Super Luminova as well, Loom, which means it's going to be as bright as hell. It's really going ri to rival the Seiko Loom as well. Uh, Pantor have gone that extra mile, haven't they, really? Now, all of these watches, I think you can choose the types of movements that you want with them. The standard movements that come with them are very good. You know, this is a good Seiko movement. I believe that you can choose a ETA Swiss movement that will increase the price. But probably your biggest question for me in this video is the price. And this watch comes in at $579.99. So you're looking at $580 for this bad boy. And I have to say it's a very, very good looking watch indeed very little bit reminiscent of a seiko turtle 
but uh, it has got very much its own thing going on here and especially with that helium escape valve for the price and what you're getting what a great value proposition now i spoke to panto and i said look i really love the product i have to say um, out of all of the watches that have been sent to the channel over the last year and a half i have to say that the panto watches impress me the most mainly because i am a real dive watch enthusiast and they really did appeal to me spec wise and what they were doing and i really do believe they have a real bright future ahead of them and i said look i think that my guys on the channel will have a major interest in these watches and um i'm going to give you guys a promo discount code from the dtime love channel so if you go onto their website you can get 15 percent off these bad boys i'm just looking at the uh Pantor Seahorse, it really is a weapon. That that thing. I tell you, what, if you ever got into trouble with the Pantor Seahorse, you could take it off and do some serious damage. There is a real bit of heft to it, some real weight. Don't forget, guys, it is 1,000 meters water resistant, and the Pantor Sea Turtle is half of that. But I tell you what, they really do carry themselves very well. They're not absolute huge monsters, you know, on the wrist. But they do use some real quality. And um, yes, I think it will have the competitors a little bit worried about what they have on offer. Because let's be honest, when you're buying a watch which is under five, six hundred dollars, you're not really buying it for the prestige, you know, in terms of what it is. Uh, you know, you're not buying it for the status symbol as such. You're buying it because you love the watch. You're buying it because you're a watch enthusiast. You're buying it because you love watches and you want a good quality watch. And Pantor are producing very good quality watches at very reasonable prices. And I have to say, I'll leave you on this note. If you like the look of these watches, guys, have a look at their website. It's still early stages, I have to say. Their products speak for themselves. And... Um, I'm offering a discount through the D-Time Love channel. You can get 15% off the retail price. Check it out, guys. I know they ship out across Europe to the UK and, and the US. So they've got every geographic globally covered. Hope you enjoyed the video. Talk to you soon. See you in the next video, guys.